Jessica, you've also been writing about the new Supreme Court Justice Neil Gorsuch. Um, can you talk about how he has affected the court so far, uh, what you're seeing, and how this will play out for women? Um, Absolutely. Um, Neil Gorsuch has made his mark on the Supreme Court immediately, and it will be a mark that lasts decades. During his confirmation process, we heard a lot about what a nice guy uh, Justice Gorsuch is, about how he's very competent and um, he's an excellent legal scholar. All of those things are very true, and we would hope that all of those things would be the base minimum uh, qualifications for anybody on the Supreme Court. What we failed in detail to discuss, largely in the media, I think we did a good job here at Rewire, but what we, what we largely failed to discuss was the substance of his writings and, when, and his career. And when we look through the substance, not just of his writings, but his career, we see some very conservative things. First and foremost, we see that he worked on torture and detention policy during his time at the D Department of Justice, which will become increasingly regular as the court hears challenges on things like the Trump administration's travel ban, um, the Muslim ban. Uh, we We've also seen him write extremely conservative concurrences when he was on uh, the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals in the Hobby Lobby case that would have effectively given organizations uh, a blank check to make religious and moral objections, not just to the contraception benefit, to laws that, that are readily applicable. We will see that impact um, in this coming term in the Masterpiece Cake Shop case a case out of Colorado where um, a baker refused to bake a cake for a same-sex couple on the grounds that he had a moral and religious objection to same-sex marriage. Um, and it wasn't just that he turned them away, it's that he explicitly said he wouldn't bake a cake because they were a cake couple. The Supreme Court has taken that case up and we will see it. Um, and of course, there are the pending rumors of a uh, retirement for Justice Anthony Kennedy. Justice Gorsuch was Anthony Kennedy's clerk and there was a lot of speculation that one of the reasons he was the nominee was to help um, smooth the relationship over with uh, Justice Kennedy. After all, they go way back. Um, they're friendly. They're collegial. Should Justice Kennedy retire, and when he does, I mean, he will at some point, whether this term or the next or the following, um, presuming we still are in a Trump presidency and get a Trump nominee, we can be guaranteed that that justice will be as conservative, if not more so, than Justice Alito. What we've seen so far is Justice Gorsuch has voted consistently with Justice Thomas and has placed him on the court's most conservative side. Um, he's also very active in oral arguments and combative um, with both attorneys and his fellow justices. So he will be a big intellectual presence in arguments. When Kennedy retires, that will make Chief Justice John Roberts the swing vote on the court.